Orlando. But, I mean, still, it's something you got to think about. The, the best way to determine who's going to run the ball is who's got the better offensive line or over a defensive line. If your offensive line is better than their defensive line, then you're always going to run the ball. I mean, that's kind of common sense there. But yeah. if you, uh, if Clemson's front seven, they have to be able to penetrate the backfield. They have to hit Henry when he's just getting the ball, right when he's getting the ball, before he can use his momentum to carry himself forward to make three or four yards because that will eventually wear you down to where – and even getting back there, just getting penetration to the backfield, that will allow Coker to throw the ball maybe sooner than he would like and maybe get a turnover. Because I think that's the way you're going to beat Alabama is if you get, you got to get past that front, that offensive line there. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be interesting to see how that, I think that, I think one of my keys to the game is determining who wins the battle up front. On Alabama's offense and Clemson's defense. I think that side of the ball for both them teams will determine who wins this football game. If Clemson's defense can stop stuff Alabama's offense, then I think Clemson's got a real good shot at it. But they their offense, I think, has to put up a little bit of points for a lot of this to happen, which I think Clemson... <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Which I think uh, Clemson's defense will be, um, it's going to be tough on him. Derrick Henry has proven this year that he's deserved to win the Heisman Trophy. And, and uh, yeah, we just got confirmation from uh, Juicy why he's not on the show. You want to hear it, uh, Mike? I bet you it's because he's trapped in the sewer tied to a pole. No, he's not. Uh, Juicy's not on the show today because he's in a stand in the middle of the woods right now. Uh, yeah, he's uh, deer hunting right now. Let me see if I can get him to send me his pick. Which I'm pretty sure I already know who his pick is. Who do you think he's picking, Mike? Well, I think he's picking. I think he's going to stick with Alabama. I think he's a really good Alabama fan. <laughs> he, he really likes Nick Saban. Uh, he actually wants to call his first kid, Nick, for some reason. Now, I'll probably defend Juicy on this because he's not here to defend himself. Um, he's an LSU fan and he doesn't like Alabama at all. If you haven't heard our previous uh, episodes, his bias is clearly showing, you know. But yeah, me and Mike's excited for baseball season coming up. That's going to be a very interesting one. First pitch yeah, for the Cajun, I think, is February 6th. Right now, since football season depressed us, I think we're moving on to baseball right now, and this is going to be baseball's going to be really exciting. Yeah, you all laugh yet? It's so depressingly that I feel like I should watch baseball to get me more excited to try to watch football again. I do love baseball, though. It's probably like probably my second favorite sport. Yeah, uh, uh, UL's basketball team lost to Little Rock. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, uh, but the women won. UL's got a good women's basketball team this year, so it might be pretty good. Yeah, they do. I said, I'm still just mainly focused on baseball, softball, baseball, softball. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. Um, Okay, going back to this game here, who do you think has got the better safeties in this game, Mike? Alabama. Alabama? Alabama, it, it, overall, you don't have to ask me what position. Overall, Alabama got the better defense, in my opinion. I mean, they, they've always had a good defense ever since Nick Saban's been there. I don't think you could ever complain about Alabama's defense not being good. It's always their offense that's questionable, but their defense has always just been rock solid. Ryan Kelly, Dominic Jackson, Alfonso, uh, okay, Alfonso Taylor, and Cam Robinson. They've been pr- doing pretty good on that line lately. And Ross, I can well, okay. Pierce, okay, I can't even say it. But, yeah, if you're an Alabama fan, please send me a comment or something like that because, yeah, I don't want to 
Well, congratulations to Raw. Season 4 of their offensive line is doing really good. Uh, they had a lot of questions during the year of their... Because, you know, they wasn't living up to Alabama standards. Oh, they're not doing yeah. well enough on the line. So, But they really turned it on during the last part of the year, which I think that last push they gave Derrick Henry a chance to win the Heisman Trophy. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be a very interesting football game, in my opinion. I don't think it's going to be... I think uh, 14, 21 points might be the difference between the two teams. Mm, I see. Uh, I do think it's going to be an interesting game, don't get me wrong. But I will probably not be watching it as a David College Ball fan as I am based on the reason, which will be the turn, which will be told later. This will be a pretty close game, a lot closer than you think. Of. Maybe 10 points is going to be the difference. I think 14 and at least 21 if they get it going early, Alabama. But uh, I. Or Clemson one two. I just don't think it's gonna be enough. Uh, I think Alabama's got a better defense than Clemson's defense. Um, offensively, I think Clemson's got the better offense than Alabama, but I think it's more closer than the other side of the ball. I think the offenses are more closer ranked than their defensive wise. And we're not even going to use stats to compare that. We're just going to see what we see on the field. So, uh, yeah. I think we've had a pretty good talk so far, huh, Mike, about this game? Yeah. Like I said, it's just kind of hard to, for me, and I'm sorry it's kind of my fault, but I don't really pay much attention to either one of these teams. I don't I don't necessarily care for these big teams. <coughs> too much of it. So it's like, uh, I'm tired of talking, hearing about them, whatever. So I kind of just tone it out after a while. But uh, I just really know I, I do know who they be, how they beat them, and like who's good and everything. And I think I know how. My, I think my pick is gonna be pretty confident, and I think I should probably be right on, dead on with it. Yeah, um, I just got Juicy's pick, and I think we'll we'll start. Uh, if you don't mind, uh, you want to do the pick now or what, Mike? Yeah, uh, let's do Juicy's pick first and he's not here. Okay, well, in from the woods, <laughs> sitting on a deer stand in Eunice, Louisiana, Juicy, what can we say about that guy, huh? Yeah, really. He's, uh, I mean, my, I think my bowl picks has been pretty good this year. I got 27 or 28 right, which is good for, like, I think 65, 66% prediction right from the bowls. I started off so great. It was so beautiful. I had an undefeated record. I was ranked number third overall in the Fox Fantasy Sports. I was like, if I win this, it's going to be a great day in my life. But nah. It wasn't meant to be. Like your whole life a disappointment, huh? No, not my whole life's been a disappointment. But uh, yeah, it, it just went down the hill from there. But, I mean, I did rebound very well in the big games. I got the big games mostly right. I missed only one. I missed the semifinal between Clemson and Oklahoma. But I got the New Year's Six, all of them and bowls right. And you missed right. the final. Wait, what? So, and you got the final, uh, the chance of game wrong, too? Yeah, but they give you a chance to pick it, though. Yeah, but you don't need to do that. That's cheat. Technically, it is cheating, but... I know someone that's been cheating on that thing, the one that sent me that text, Juicy. He was changing yeah, his picks. Yeah, I was about to say, it's not me because I haven't done it. Yeah. Unfortunately, because if I'd have done it, I think I'd have been sitting pretty good. Yeah, uh, Juicy he was changing picks, and I mean, I think I'm like, you just lied to all Fishbowl Nation. So, if you, uh, you're you listening out there and you want to give Juicy a rant, go on our Facebook page and chew him out for chew doing that. Chew him out, yeah, please che- do it. We'll, please. We'll We'll accept it. We won't approach you for anything too inappropriate. Yeah, no, no, if, no, you no, wanna, we'll if you want to, if you want to roast the juicy on Facebook, be my guest. It's kind of funny. Hey, did you see that new uh, hashtag out? Uh, waste his time or whatever. I saw, I heard, I saw, but I didn't read about it. I don't waste my time about that. <laughs> kind of ironic, ain't it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, all. Women took the Twitter and made this hashtag a trend, uh, saying all kind of stuff. 
and it's uh, very interesting. And I got disappointing news about Bluebell. What? They the same thing that shut them down earlier, and they they found they may have found some more evidence of it in the plant still there. That's wrong because I, I've, I've eaten some bluebells since they put that out. I haven't eaten any since they put it back out. That this area. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> this hasn't been confirmed yet, but I think it's been talked about. I think it's kind of there. I've seen a news site reported, so. I don't want to send mass hysteria, but the legitimacy of that claim is still in effect or questioned. <coughs> All right, well, back in the woods in Eunice, Louisiana, Juicy has picked the Crimson Tide of Alabama to win the national championship game. He didn't give me a spread, but uh, Juicy would like Clemson to win, he said, because he, he is hate for Alabama so strong. That's what he uh, texted. And, uh, and I think I know what Spray's going to choose. I think it's going to be like five to six touchdowns. Yeah. If I remember right. That's, yeah, that's, that, that's been the running thing we had all this year. Five to six touchdowns. <laughs> five to six touchdowns. <laughs> we joked on that all at the beginning of the season, of the college ball season. That was stupid. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Mike, uh, who you got? Well... My pick is, of course, it's going to be Alabama, uh, which is the reason why I'm not going to watch it. Uh, I'm not the huge, the, nowhere near the hugest other two fan by any stretch of the imagination. If, if you know me and Chief, we kind of, kind of got some feelings about that. Uh, and it's not necessarily because I hate Alabama so much, because I'm tired of seeing them winning it, all right? And I mean, it's, it's kudos to them because they won as much now championships as they can. I'm just tired of seeing it happen, so I just figured I might as well not watch the game. So I'm figuring Alabama's going to win this game. I said it's probably going to be around 10 points, so it's going to be a close game, so that might be a reason why I might end up watching it. But overall, I think Alabama's going to win it. They do have a better defense. They do have offensive line. They're, they're slightly better in the fact that they got Derrick Henry at the running back position. Uh, but I, I really do think Alabama might struggle with Deshaun Watson. He is such a phenomenal quarterback, a dual third quarterback. So I think he's going to maybe shake up Alabama's defense a little bit. But I said, overall, I think Alabama and the coaching, too. Nick Saban used to coach a national championship. So I really think he, uh, they kind of got the edge over Clemson. So I'll pick Alabama. If Alabama wins this one, they would have won in 2011, 2012. Well, they won 2009, but in that four year span for 2009 and 2004, well, after the season, Alabama had won three out of the last four national championships. Since then, they went 0 for 2. They made the playoffs last year, but didn't finish Ohio State. The eventual national championship ended up beating them, running the table. And me and you picked Ohio State last year to win the national title. And man, I can remember that day like it was yesterday. It shows how much fun we had last year, apparently, huh? Yeah, I picked Ohio State to uh, win, and of course. Not yeah. Uh, things, the only 12 team that stayed the same was Alabama. Hey, you know what's the funniest thing in the world? What? If you listen to our show earlier, are we, I, I know I picked Ohio State to probably win an after championship to begin this year. And if you look at the team Ohio State has, you wonder how did they not win a national champ? Like, how, how could they have not been? Uh, is there something with the coaching or something? Because the roster they had is just way too good for them not to have one national championship. It puzzles me. But it's the, the it's the you know, like I say, it's on paper it looked good, but they really. On paper, I'm telling you, they're probably the best team in the country, but then they just can't put it together. Well, they put it together last year. I think that championship hangover, in my opinion, on it. But uh, yeah, I'm a pick. Alabama to win the national championship over Clemson. I'm going to tell you why. Because I don't think the Clemson's offense is going to move against Alabama's defense. I think this is too good. I don't think the offensive line of the Clemson is going to hold off Alabama from getting into the backfield and disrupting their running game or 
even putting uh, Deshaun Watson on his back, even though he's a dual threat quarterback. I think uh, Chip Kelly.